Hello friends, Drew here in beautiful West Grove, Pennsylvania, working on a bathroom door for a customer. He called us because this door to their bathroom had this nasty tendency to swing itself shut. And after 10, 15 years of living here, decided that they did not want to do that anymore because they're constantly having to put a weight down here at the floor uh, at the bottom of things to hold it open so that it wouldn't swing shut. So why do doors swing shut automatically? Well, you can buy the spring-loaded hinges. That was not the case here. The case here was that the door was not hung plumb. So the first thing that we did when we came in, we grab our levels and we start trying to figure out what's going on. So we checked the header at the top of the door jamb and that was a little bit out. Hinge side is a little bit high. Okay, why is the hinge side high? Not sure. We're going to keep checking. So we grab our six foot level and we run that on the hinge side before I kick the door off, before I do anything else. And what we found was that down here at the bottom, I had to hold the level out about seven eighths of an inch, not into touching the wall, but out here, seven eighths of an inch at the bottom in order to get plumb, in order for that bubble to be right between the lines. So that means that the top of the door is hinged over here. So when you get that door and it swings part way shut because it's hanging this way, what's it want to do? It wants to close. And I'm exaggerating it just so you can get an idea of what's going on. So the fix for that is either we have to push the hinge side top back or we have to bring the bottom side out. Um, and then the same thing on this side. Well, what was going on here? Well, wouldn't you know, it was racked exactly the same way. Top was too far over. Um, which way? Yeah, top was too far over that direction. And uh, trying to figure out what was going on. But we had some added challenges here. Well, bathroom. We have some wonderful tile work, marble actually, and uh, didn't really want to disturb the marble or the marble threshold floor or in, the, in the door here. Uh, this side's not so bad, but they got marble baseboard, so I can't move that. Can't move anything at the bottom. Well, that makes life a lot more interesting if I can't move the pieces around that need to be moved. So, set you guys back down here. What we wound up doing, I took all the trim off all the way around. I left the trim on the bottom because I didn't want to mess with the marble here. I left the bottom half. I just disconnected the top and it's just flopping loose in here. Took the outside off completely. Got some crowbars in here and I had to take the vibe tool because I don't want to move this marble threshold. So we took the oscillating tool, ran that down here at the bottom to cut the bottom of the door jam to allow the bottom of the door jam to slip over top of that threshold at the bottom so we could get some movement. Brought that in about seven eighths of an inch. And right now we're in the process of shimming this out and running new fasteners in to hold this jam in the correct location. And we're going to take that level. And the part that people miss when you hang these is not just important to level it this way, you've also got to plumb it in and out. Make sure that's square. And if you get the hinge side right, everything else should be easier. But this is a 15-year-old retrofit. We're trying to fix it so that it stops swinging automatically. What are we going to do with the side? Well, because of how the bottom set up, if I push the bottom side over, we're going to have this gap where that threshold used to be and isn't because I moved it. So rather than move the door jam, I think we're going to get the planer out. We're going to run the saw on the table. We'll clean it up with the planer. And we're going to change the shape of the door to fit this new opening where the hinge side is straight. And that's going to mean that this side is probably going to have to have the bottom edge cut because the whole door is getting kicked this direction. Well, when the door gets kicked that way, we're going to have to take, you know, maybe half an inch, three quarter, a quarter of an inch off that left side. We'll find out how much when I get it in here. And then we may kind of adjust. I may take a little bit off the hinge side and a little bit off that side and cut new hinge holes. We'll see, uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get it together. So when we started, top of the door is way out to the side here. It would close automatically. They had to put a weight at the bottom of it. When we're done, hinge side is going to be plumb. Not exactly sure what this is going to look like yet. And then we can put the trim back on. Now, we do have one other chance this down here at the bottom I'm trying not to disturb this trim because it's right up against the marble uh, and we don't want to mess that grout line up if I can help it so I think what we're going to wind up doing is cleaning up this edge of the wood here as nicely as we can and then uh, run a bead of caulk down it and then paint and that's just going to kind of be how it is until such time as either this trim comes off and gets replaced with something else but uh, I'm a little nervous doing that up against the tile here um, 
and we can put a wider trim on here and we can do the same thing on the outside except the customers planning to paint this soon we could just put wider trim here uh, but for now we're going to put back what they had so if you've got a door that wobbles to and flow and uh, you cannot keep it shut and uh, sometimes you have to tie it like a gate i forget all the lyrics i put in the description whatever i was having fun um if you got a door that isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing give us a call 484-748-0008 choose option two for cope construction and renovation and extension two for new projects we are your pennsylvania home improvement contractor number 8808 additions new construction kitchens basements bathrooms and the stupid little home repairs that drive you crazy like doors that close by themselves we are happy to help you out we'll catch you guys in another video this is drew in westgrove pennsylvania bye for now